Alright, well we've seen Ald Velothi, and now we're gonna need to just go south a little bit to Nisus. Alright, which way do we go here? Nisus. This way. Here we go. Well, what's this up here? Hello. What is you? this up? Rawia Asher Bibi? Well, hello ma'am. I uh, was just passing through on my way to Nisus. I'm an Imperial Home Inspector, you see, and you appear to be living out here in the wilderness. Um, tell me, please, what is your background? Oh, a wise woman, huh? Well, you don't seem so wise to me. If you were truly wise, you would probably relocate to the Imperial City. Ever heard of it? Anyone who's anyone lives in the Imperial City. If you were truly wise, you would know that. Well, now that we have concluded that you are not a wise woman, I think uh, the only thing left to do is for me to inspect your home. Excuse me. Let me just slip into your hut here. Yeah. Yep. Um, this appears to be a spooky little tent. There are two strange blue-skinned so-called people in here. Outlander. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep it to yourself. Well, this appears to be a small tent. There are several containers with various pieces of garbage in them. There are some suspicious piles of powder upon the tabletop, as well as some quick wheat. Quick wheat. More piles of powder. Hmm. This is looking mighty suspicious. These ethnicities in here. Probably up to no good. Their sacks contain various things, as do their urns. Um, overall, I'm feeling very spooked, and I think I'm going to uh, recommend we get some Imperial Narcotics agents down here to, uh, first of all, enforce the law, and possibly to round up and intern these malignant myrrh. I don't feel very welcome, and uh, I'm just gonna Go ahead and get out of here, but um, I think I'm going to have to recommend that we get some Imperial Guardsmen in here to forcibly relocate these Vagabonds. Well, that was a disgusting hovel. Hope you all rot. We really need to make our way to Nisus for our next inspection. On schedule. Alright, the sign says Nisus this way. Ah, and that must be it. it. Looks like a fine town. Let's go take a walk this way and check out the town. Ah, what a grand bridge to welcome us. Impressive construction. I must say these elves do amaze me at times. The Imperial City surely is more grand. However, this is quite an establishment. Quite an impressive statue out front here. Quite a welcome. Well, I don't see any townsfolk around here. Let's just go in this front door and see who's around. Oh. Oh, okay. Well, this town... This, uh... Hello, sir. Ah! Wait a minute, this isn't right. I'm getting out of here. I think I've made a mistake. Oh my god, a worm. I'm starting to think perhaps that was a Dwemer ruin. Any any time now, just keep following these signs. That's all there is to it. Just put one foot in front of the other, follow the sign, you'll be fine. Ah, here we are. Just pass through this little opening here, and there we go. On schedule. Well, compared to some other towns I've visited, this is quite large. Looks a fair bit more civilized than what I've grown accustomed to thus far. There are uh, several shopkeepers out here on the side of this building. I think this is the temple. Trying desperately to hawk their shoddy wares on travelers passing through. I'm a bit smarter than that, so I will not be spending any of my gold on their overpriced garbage. Let's go up here now to get a better look at the town. Well, this puts it all into perspective a little bit better. According to my records, there are nine different private residences here in the town, as well as a barracks and a temple. Now, it is a legion town, so the barracks does not need to be inspected, as any imperial establishment can be assumed to be on the up and up. There is no real need to inspect them. It is a self-inspecting and self-correcting organization. No need for me to meddle in their affairs. Any problems they have will be sorted out internally, rest assured. In the same way that if someone from the inspection bureau, such as myself, ever committed any crimes during an inspection, that would be internally reviewed and dealt with. If you have been watching my reports thus far, you know that I have never engaged in any sort of criminality while on an inspection, and so that's why I'm still out here on the job. Now, having said that, if you are viewing this 
tape, and if you have viewed any of my previous tapes, it is actually you who has committed the crime. For you see, these tapes are for Uriel Septim's eyes only. Emperor, Sire, that is you, if you are watching. Anyone else watching is under arrest, frankly. Um, you need to go turn yourself in at the local barracks or local guards tower. I'm not sure how you got your hands on this tape because I addressed it specifically to the Emperor, but nonetheless, you have committed a capital offense and you will be arrested immediately. Now, as I was saying, there are nine private residences in this town, as well as the temple. So we'll begin today's inspection over here at our first private residence. This is Yahaz Hut, also known as Yehe's Hut. Let's go in. Ugh. Okay, well, high ceiling. It's good. Got a uh, collection of various items inside. Where to begin? Well, I suppose we'll just begin in a clockwise fashion. I'm not really sure what clockwise refers to, but I've heard that's that's what it's called when you go left to right in a circle. Now, immediately inside the door, we find a bucket and broom. This, I believe, is what the locals use to defecate into, and the broom is, of course, used to sweep it out after each use. It's not the most glamorous style of evacuation, however, it seems to be the local favorite, as this is a feature of almost every home. Then we have a nice potted plant, very spiky looking. And there is a dining table with two chairs. Some food is already on the table, some ash yam, and several loaves of bread. Truly a large feast, fit for a large family. Continuing around the room, there are some sacks on the floor, containing comberry, hound meat, trammer root, Heather, a rue brush, egg, root, guar hide, marshmallow, red lichen, and hound meat. Oh my goodness, I didn't even notice there is a person in here. Hello, yeah. Musa Yahaz. How are you? Well, let me introduce myself. My name is Inspector Ass. I'm here on behalf of the Emperor. I'm part of the Imperial Inspection Bureau. I am conducting a survey of this town to f uh, to ensure that the local population is living up to the standards set by the empire any loyal subject of the empire should have nothing to fear from this inspection i'm just going to come in and i'll be out it's just a quick in and out and everybody's satisfied. I get in, I get out, and I leave you wanting more. I understand you have a background as a farmer, as um, a respectable trade. I'm sure you grow crops and raise animals for food and gather animal products and vegetable products from the land for your own use and for sale at the markets. Well, thank you for your cooperation. I'll be out of your hair in no time. Now, there is a three-tiered shelf here with four bowls, one pitcher, seven cups, one platter, and a small chest containing one cup. Underneath the shelving, there are three sacks containing comberry, quama, cuddle, trama root, wick wheat, large quama egg, slowed soap, bloat, hound meat, quama cuddle, and a small egg, and a willow anther. Finally, there is a sack in the corner containing bone meal, kagudi hide, marshmallow, and red lichen. So far, so good. Your home is looking to be in good shape. No illicit wares, no dangerous, unstable alchemical ingredients. On a small table on the wall, there is a jug, two bottles, two goblets, and a total of, let's see here, 32 gold pieces sitting out. There's also a heather plant in a nice stone pot. There's a decent looking red bed set up along the wall. I imagine this could be unpleasant if one were to roll out of bed to the right side and end up scrunched in a little corner on the floor. Perhaps it's not the best place for a bed, but that's the place this bed is. Now, I do need to look under your pillow. Excuse me while I touch this. Okay, nothing under there. Very good. Thank you for uh, not freaking slave? out. Here not long ago. I I don't know. Um, just so you know, slavery is outlawed by the Empire. We simply tolerate your backwards ways here, but uh, I don't really want to hear any more about it while I'm here, thank you. I'm not a, uh, a savage, you see. Well, while I'm looking in this direction, there is a nice fireplace and or oven in the center of the room. The smoke billows out through the open air, but then 
filters out through a chimney in the roof. Sitting on a piece of paper in front of the fire, there are several samples of quick wheat, which have apparently been rolled by this rolling pin and are drying out, perhaps for use in potion making later on. There's also a large pitcher being kept warm by the fire. And there is a small table with two bowls, one containing ash salts and the larger containing a large quama egg. And there is a... There's someone watching me. I can tell. Yeah, well, I'm right here, so you're, I mean, you're looking right at me. You're, okay. Why don't you just, uh, why don't you just keep quiet and, uh, let me, um, conduct my inspection, all right? Um, really don't need any interference from the likes of you, okay? Just, uh, just, uh, why don't you just, why don't you just, uh, keep it down, all right? <coughs> Where was I? All right. There is a long wooden spoon as well on the table. Now, there is a dresser next to the bed. In the dresser, we have two common skirts, one common pair of shoes, and one common ring. Nothing I would care to take for myself, certainly. On top of the dresser, there is a ceramic bowl of unknown purpose sitting upon a square piece of cloth. There's another square piece of cloth, as well as a basket. Next to that, there is a chest on the floor. Inside the chest, there are two common rings and one common belt. In the barrel next to the chest, we find many standard ingredients, nothing remarkable. In the second barrel, it is much the same situation. In the basket, we have ash yam, and we have rat meat, and then we have chokeweed, grave dust, green lichen, crushed fiber, and rat meat. There is a small table. We're back by the entrance now. On the table, there is a blue paper lantern illuminating nothing, as well as a rather hard looking chair. And finally, on the back side of the oven, there is a small ledge upon which sits a basket, a bottle, a jug, a blue glass pot, a blue clay pot, and a small candlestick. There is a cloth stool sitting in front of this small table. And that will conclude the inspection. There, was that so bad? Outlander, what do you want? Well, I don't want anything else from you, I'll tell you that. Uh, I, in fact, I want you to pipe Die. down. Okay, so I'm just gonna leave you now. <laughs> Remember who runs this town. This is an empire town. Don't give us any more attitude. All right, moving right along. One house done. Yahaz Hut. Crossed off the list. Now let's just continue to the next hut right next door. This is Dinadad Hut. Well, the interior is laid out almost exactly the same as Yahaz Hut. It is a rather large one room home with an oven fireplace in the center. This one is oriented the opposite direction. However, it appears to be utilized in the same fashion. And the homeowner appears to be here. Hello. Well, this is a home inspection. I am Inspector Ass. I'm here to inspect your home. Make sure nothing weird is going on in here. So why don't you just stand right there. Keep those right there, right there. Just keep those to yourself. I don't need to see those. I don't need to know about them. Just, just hold on to those tightly. Just keep those away from me. And I'll be uh, out of your hair in no time. All right, well, let's get started here. By the entrance, there are two baskets on the floor. That is dirty, disgusting, so dirty. Mm. Uh, on this table, there is a decorative bowl. On the dining table, there is a basket with two large, excuse me, one large and one small quama egg. There is a redware pot. There is one cup, one plate, one spoon, one fork, and one knife. Do you live alone? Are you all alone in here? Are, there's no one else in here that's gonna have a problem with me being here close to you, close to those. Mm. Well, uh, over here on the side of the oven. Did you say something? No? Okay, well, uh, let me know if you need anything. Uh, anyway, uh, there are two goblets and a pitcher. Now on the floor there are two additional baskets next to some dirty brown- did you say something? Hello? No? Okay. There are two dirty brown sacks with salt rice and salt rice 
There's a sack with chokeweed, comberry, guar hide. There's another basket on the floor. Why are they on the on the floor? Okay. Uh, there's a basket on the desk here. Hope that one wasn't on the floor before. There's a beautiful purple candle on top of this desk. In the desk's drawers, we find two clay pots, one goblet, one goblet, and one peach glass bowl. There is a very uncomfortable chair set up for this desk. I would hate to think what it would feel like to sit in that. There is a basket leaned up against the wall. Utterly useless. Can't hold anything when it's leaned up against the wall. Plus it's on the dirty, dirty floor. Speaking of dirty floor, I have not seen a broom nor a bucket in here. Perhaps that's what all these baskets on the floor are for. Perhaps this woman cannot afford her customary poop bucket and opts instead to use numerous poop baskets. That could be the situation we're looking at here. Anyway, there is a cloth sack on the floor with eggs, another with hackalow leaf. There is a tall urn with scuttle and salt rice, as well as another urn with hackalow leaf. There is a basket way up on top of this closet, but nothing is in it. In the closet, though, there are common pants, common shirt, and common shoes. Commonly found in a common closet. There are yet more baskets on the floor. This is going further and further towards confirming my hypothesis. Ah, and when I look behind me, there is another basket on the floor. This is truly the home of a basket-obsessed young lady. There is a large collection of bottles on this shelf, as well as four Goblets. Perhaps this woman is a party host, or hostess as it were. Enough goblets here for guests to partake in these many drinks. And yet more baskets. Perhaps these are also provided to the guests for their pooping needs. There's a redware bowl and pot on a shelf at the rear of the room, as well as yet another basket. There's a small locked chest. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pop this chest open. Uh, I'm allowed to. Don't worry. Let's just uh, pop that open. There we go. Well, in the small chest, there's just five gold. I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even take it. It's nothing I want. Don't worry. In the chest of drawers, there's a common amulet, common ring, and two common skirts. She apparently keeps her clothing in two separate containers. We have the closet as well as the drawers. But there are not enough clothes inside each or either to justify having both. Very curious indeed. Did I mention there's a basket on top? So many baskets. Finally, there is a small table with a redware candle and bowl as well as another goblet next to the bed perhaps for midnight drinking and peeing. As is customary with my inspections, I will be checking under the pillow, and disappointingly, as usual, I find nothing of note. So I just place the pillow back exactly as I found it, and we will be moving on. This home is very well lit, very cozy, but it has a disturbing amount of baskets on the floor and on most of the surfaces inside. Uh, I'm ma'am. listening. Go my ahead. Ins- well, okay. Let me talk. My inspection is over. You have passed. I'm not going to be doing anything to you or anything you own, such as those. Um, but I may be uh, visiting you again soon. You never know. So uh, keep your door unlocked, please. And uh, wait for me. Hmm. Wait. Oh, goodbye. Did you say something? No? Okay. Well, um, I gotta go. Bye. Let's move on to our next home here. Did you say something? No? Okay. This is Abel Mawia Hut. Let's go inside, shall we? Okay. Again, same layout as before. Aha, the owner appears to be home. Hello, sir. Masera. Oh, that's an interesting nickname. I've never been called that before. What are you all about, sir? A commoner. Ah, say no more. Say... No more, please. Well, uh, I just wanted to let you know I'm going to be poking around a little bit. Just keep your hands off me, stay out of my way, and, um, won't have any issues. You're wearing a lot of earrings, aren't you? You're, you're, you're a certain type of individual, aren't you? All right, well, just more so now that I noticed that, more so. Stay away from me, please. All right. Okay, sire, entering the door, we notice a disturbing detail about this home. It has nothing to do with the redware bowl 
or the Redware Bowl, or the Redware Bowl, or the Large Redware Bowl. It has everything, in fact, to do with what sits in front of these Redware Bowls, which is not this cloth-covered stool, nor this cloth-covered stool, but this wooden stool. What exactly would you say is going on here, sire? Does this seem like a legitimate use of a stool to you? Is this something you would sign off on if if asked? I'm going to need an immediate dispatch of Imperial Furniture Inspectors as well as Imperial Reality Enforcement Officers to come to this home immediately because I think this might be an emergency. I'm going to try to remain calm as I do the rest of the inspection, but this is going to be on my mind probably for the rest of the week. Well, let's just try to forget about that and conduct the rest of the inspection. Inside the door there is a sack with five scuttle, an urn with three scuttle, a cloth sack with three eggs, a cloth sack with another three eggs, an urn with scales and scamp skin, and an urn with three hound meat. There are three green pots of varying sizes sitting on the floor. Very strange. There is a weird looking muck shovel leaned up against a, a basic bench, if you will. This almost there resembles... I can tell. Pipe down over there, please. The muck shovel resembles a large pipe for smoking. It's unclear to me now whether this is a mislabeled item used for illicit drug use or whether it is indeed a legitimate muck shovel. However, I am simply cataloging the things in the home. I am not going to do anything about them. So this will remain here. There's a very overbuilt candlestick in the room. Large iron construction supporting a single candle. Kind of a waste of materials, if I had to be honest with you. Probably could have had a lot more candles up there. The other side of the room, it's much the same story. The same overbuilt candle holder. There are many sacks on the ground. I will try to go through them all. Let's see. We have one empty. We have gold, canet, muck, wickwheat, willow anther. We have racer plumes, black anther, salt rice, scuttle, and wick wheat, drag wax, heather, green lichen, large quama egg, racer plumes, willow anther, muck, netch leather. <laughs> You okay? All right. There are two more sacks on top of this shelving unit here. Small quama egg and guar hide and resin. There's a very large peach glass bowl, three green glass glasses, four glass bottles, two jugs, and one more bottle with a wicker koozie around it. The next shelf down has four redware bowls and four large redware bowls, except one of them, despite being the largest, is labeled as redware bowl rather than large red wearable. None of my business, I suppose. Continuing, there is a table with two uncomfortable folding cloth topped stools. Upon the table there is a large flat basket containing six quama eggs. There is a decorative bowl containing absolutely nothing except decoration. There's a redware pot of unknown contents, and a strangely placed collection of wooden fork, spoon, and knife. And there is one goblet as well, and not to mention another stool. On the next little table, there's a redware pot and a redware bowl. In you the... may speak. I'm not trying to speak to you, so um, please stay away from me. Thank you. Stay away. Stay away. <laughs> in the rear of the room, on a ledge jutting out from the wall, there is a large bowl with a spoon in it and an egg. There's a rolling pin and a piece of paper on top of which sit two loaves of bread. There is a poop bucket here at the foot of this man's bed, no doubt where he dumps his ass every day. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. Um, there is a pot containing nothing inside of the oven slash fireplace in the center of the room, much like the other huts. There's a bowl and a cup sitting in front of the fireplace. Under the pillow of this man. That's quite enough. There Dave. is nothing. Unfortunate. For me, I always like to see what is under there, and often I am disappointed. There is a chest on the floor, inside of which we find a redware bowl, a petty soul gem, and a peach glass bowl. There are three sacks containing scuttle, hackalow leaf, and scuttle. There is a 
shelf along the wall. On the shelf, there is a book, Ancestors and the Dunmer. A boring, overlong, trite, pretentious writing about a, an, inf frankly, an inferior kind of people. I'm only interested in reading imperial books about imperials, frankly. There are four goblets. There is one peach glass pot, one clay pot, one redware pot, and a bargain restore health potion. Come to think of it, I could use that. I'm gonna go ahead and just, uh... Ratchet thief. Yeah, well, call me what you want. Call it a, call it an inspection fee, okay? I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, take a nip on that potion there. Yeah, I feel slightly better. That was worth it, I think. <laughs> Hey, well, sir, you can grumble all you want, but, uh, you know, as far as you're concerned, I'm done here. As far as you know, I'll never come back. But, uh, you never know when, uh, one of my, one of my fellow officers of Imperial Law might be around. So, uh, you best stay on your best behavior, okay? Goodbye. Okay, three down, six to go. This is quite a big project. Well, let's just jog across the marketplace here and get to our next three huts. I'm gonna try to speed this up a little bit. I think I'm getting a little too detail oriented. This is the Shishara hut. Let's go inside. Okay, it's the same layout as the previous huts. Two potted plants. We have a shelf with two muck shovels. Masera. Indeed, I don't know why you would need two of them, but there we are. There are two cheap restore fatigue potions as well as some bottles and bowls and tankards. Seems a bit much for one man. I, I would assume he does not live alone by this. However, he is here alone. However, there are two beds, so so perhaps there is at least one other person who lives here with him. And speaking of him, hello, sir. Hinamu Shishara, nice to meet you. My name is Inspector Ass. I'm just going to take a quick peek at your belongings, make sure you're following all the, all the laws and the standards, the moral standards of the Empire. Quick question, what is your background? You are just an egg miner. What does that mean? Well, I guess I have you to thank for all the eggs I've been finding in everyone's home. I appreciate you. Thank you for what you do. Thank you, sincerely. Thank you. Okay, in front of his fire we have a couple bowls. There's some baskets with scuttle and leaves on his table. A plate, fork and knife and spoon. A little napkin, a cup and a bottle, and another plate, fork, knife, and spoon. There are two bench seats here. I suppose there are two people living here. We got a sack and an urn. A sack and a sack and a sack and a sack and a sack. All of the sacks have nothing interesting in them. Our first bed sits over the top of a shirt and another shirt. It's a strange place to keep your shirts on the floor under your bed, but hey, whatever. Under the first pillow, quite nothing. On the shelf at the back of the room, we have two bottles and two cups. And in the chest, various pottery as well as a quality restore speed potion. <laughs> Under the second bed's pillow, we find nothing. And on the back of the oven shelf, we have a plate, three goblets, and one pitcher. In the baskets, we have a basket. Whoa, hold on now. Emperor, sir, we have a situation here. We have a basket containing a basket. So um, if you could please, as soon as you see this, dispatch an Imperial Basket Regulation Enforcement Troop. I think they're going to need to visit this man's home immediately. In this chest of drawers, we find common garb. Nothing to worry about. Very nice little plant on top, I have to say. That's good decorating. Oh, and some loose change. Some loose change on the surface. What does it mean? Macera. Shush. Okay, there's a redware pot and a redware bowl. This appears to complete the inspection. This is, as he said, just the home of a humble mining man and perhaps his spouse or roommate. Um, nothing concerning in here other than that situation with the baskets, but we'll get a man on that in no time. Okay, moving on. Next hut is called Man Elu Hut. As I come into this home, I am, uh, 
struck by its utter similarity to the rest of the homes. However, I am struck also by the presence of a strange device over there on the table. Let's uh, inspect this a little bit closer. Uh, hello, my name is Inspector Ass. I'm here to inspect your home, but what is this? What is this? There appear to be rolled up cloth here. There, there's three rolls of blue and red cloth here. There's a candle for light, I presume. And there is this strange device with a, a wheel, what appears to be a crank for turning the wheel. And then there is a, perhaps you would call this a spool. And between the spool and the wheel is a string, you might say. Beyond that, I do not know what is going on here. It appears to be taking the string from the spool and putting it onto the wheel. And somehow, at the end of it all, we end up with cloth? And, and shears are involved, somehow. Truly a mystery, one which I cannot solve today. Perhaps this person knows. What What is the deal with this machine? Well, you claim to be a farmer. Um, is it a secret? Tell me a little secret. No, that's just about Daedric Ruins. Well, I don't really understand what's going on here. I think we need to get, um, a higher level investigator out here to solve this mystery. But let's continue. In front of the fireplace, we have a goblet and a pitcher. In the sack on the floor, we have Hwikwit and Kwama Cuddle, no problem. We got salt rice, we got salt rice. Empty basket, one with a hound meat. Several baskets on top of this closet cabinet here. We got some common clothing inside. Nice little reddish purplish candle. On the table, we have a basket with eggs and one solitary plate with a complete set of cutlery and a single bowl and glass for this single lady. On her little shelf here, we've got some bread and a, f a few bowls. Looks like she's gonna chow down on some bone meal with her little spoon here and maybe have some marshmallow as a dessert. Who knows? In the back of the room, we got an urn with some meat and rice. We got another urn with some scuttle, another sack with scuttle and a sack with an egg. We got a decorative bowl on a little table. We've got uh, a bowl and a pot on a ledge. There is a, oh, there are two goblets on the floor. Maybe two people sit on these nice cushions here and drink together. Nothing wrong with that. We have a chest of drawers here with a common ring and a three common skirts. That's a lot of skirts. A lot of skirts, not a lot of shirts. In this small chest. Let me just unlock it. We've got five gold. A jug and five bottles sit atop the dresser. The basket has a bottle and the other basket has another bottle. Then there's this lowly filthy hammock here with a pillow on it. Let me check underneath there real quick. Nothing, nothing to see there. And that's it. That was pretty quick. Not a lot going on in here, except for this situation. Hmm. There's oh, someone on to the next me. one. All right, let's just go over here. Stop into this final hut. Oh, it's locked. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, go ahead and pop that open. There we go. I'm coming in. Hey. Okay. Well, just what I expected to see. Pretty much the same as the rest. Ah, there we are. A broom and a poop bucket. Love to see that. That is a great way to start off this final hut. We've got a lantern and a napkin on a table here. It's classy in case you need to wipe your ass, maybe. All right, we've got a nice little well-placed collection of bottles and jugs here. A nice brass candlestick, pitcher and bowls. Very interesting. I don't know what's going on over here. Are they pouring the the drinks into the bowls and sitting on these stools and just laying their faces in there. I'm not really sure. All right, and then there's some baskets here. Hackalo leaf. We got an urn with salt rice. We got a cloth sack with scuttle. A basket with salt rice. A basket with scuttle. Nobody's home, apparently. Well, it's good that they locked up while they were gone. However, there is no lock that can stop me. There is a flat basket on top of a small table containing six Kwama eggs of varying sizes. Nice little shelf here with redware pottery cups bottle, pot, and four goblets. There is a bowl, nothing in it. It's quite large. Then we have a table with a clay pot, a decorative bowl, a couple of goblets, and blue plates. Very nice. There are forks, 
spoons and knives for each of the two place settings here. This might be a couple's home, as it were. On the little ledge in the back of the room, we have a nice brass candlestick burning away, a piece of cloth laid out for an unknown reason, a peach glass pot, and two blue glass pots. On the floor, there are a pair of drums. One is a drum, the other is a guarskin drum. There is a nice little cushion on the floor. I suppose somebody sits here. Maybe they play the drum and then wipe their nose. Maybe wipe the sweat off their forehead after a hard s drum session with this little cloth here. On the oven, there is a, a redware bowl on the ledge and in the oven there is a large redware bowl. There is no fuel inside to burn, however, so I guess we're just gonna store our bowls in there. That's fine. And there's another cushion on the floor in front of the oven. I'm not sure. There are some stools in here, so this this family is not anti-chair, exactly, but they do enjoy floor cushions, apparently. Now we come to the bed. Right off the bat, I'm gonna just check under this pillow, and there is nothing there. Perfect. There is an extremely expensive book on the bed called The Black Arrow, Volume 2. It is worth approximately, I would guess, I'm, I'm no book appraiser, but I would guess it's worth ex about 400 gold pieces in the Empire. I think I better take a quick peek inside and see what this book is all about. Oh, well, I feel a little bit better at shooting a bow now, so that's good. This book is, uh, it's way too long, I think. I'm not really gonna take the time to read it. I think I got the gist. Anyway, something about shooting a bow. It's fine. Now, I do spy with my little eye two pairs of shoes under the bed. That's what I call organized. Now, there are two chests with a nice little stool, so you can sit here and you can rummage through your chests. Um, this chest inside, there is three gold, two common shoes, and one common ring. Now, this chest has five, no, excuse me, six pieces of gold sitting on top of it on the lid. I'm gonna try to peek in here without without causing the gold to fall off. Hold on. All right, inside this chest, there is a quality restore agility potion, a bowl, a clay pot, and a goblet. And close it, and all right, the gold was undisturbed. Perfect, I am perfect, I am perfect. Okay, finally, there are some sacks on the floor. This one has drag wax, oh my God, expensive. This one has ashy and scrub jelly, scrub. Scrub jelly. This one's got heather, scamp skin, crab meat, resin, guar hide, large quama egg, resin. And of course, there is a nice rue brush plant here in a pot. Really adds a nice touch to the room. It's really a nice piece of decoration, I think. Probably if you have a home, you should probably, you know, put in a little effort and decorate it, and this looks pretty good to me. Well, this house clearly belongs to a well-organized, bookworm, aspiring drummer, egg fanatic, floor cushion enjoyer who poops in a bucket. I approve, Emperor, I believe this home may be the finest in town. So without further ado, let's move on and see what's left in this town. What What is left for inspecting? Over that way is the barracks. We do not need to inspect that because it is an imperial situation. I'm sure they are just fine. This is the trade house and inn. We don't need to inspect that because that is not a residence, as it were. So where can we find another private residence? Well, I believe this way I did spy some doors. Ah, uh, yes, up this hill here. This one to the left is not a residence. This appears to be some sort of a spooky crypt. There's a giant rat. Help! Help! Well, I won't be going back in there. However, there are some other doorways leading into the side of this hill here. I'm gonna go try this door first. Aha! This is called Mantiti Cave Dwelling. Well, I can imagine with the freedom of burrowing into a, a, a hillside, one could really make one's home any way one wished. So I can't wait to see what splendor awaits inside the Mantiti Cave Dwelling. Let's go. Ugh. Oh no. It's dark and dirty in here. Oh, hello! I didn't see you there. Your name is Ass You Man You Mantiti. Hmm. Well, what kind of a person are you? You're just an egg miner. Hmm. 
Well, I think you're more than just an egg miner. You're an ass. A fellow ass. Well, I am pleased to be, excuse me, I am pleased to be in your home. I must introduce myself. You see, I am an ass as well. My name is Inspector Ass, and I'm here to do an inspection of your f fucking cave dwelling. So, uh, just, uh, stand there and let me do what I'm gonna do to you. Okay. First of all, there are two sacks on the ground. They contain a bunch of garbage. Over here, there is a fireplace, which I actually quite like. There's someone watching me. I can tell. Okay, shut up. Um, anyway, there's a bellows for the fire. There's a cup and a large redware bowl. The fire is burning away. Crisp, crisper, crisperifically. Crispy fire. Okay, on the table here, there is a decorative bowl with a large quama egg. No doubt mined by this individual, this ass over here. And there are three redware bowls and three goblets, as well as a paper lantern lighting up the table. Good mood lighting for chatting with your boys. By the fireplace, there's a bowl on top of a barrel. Barrel with a bowl. And inside the barrel, there's paper, basket, bottle, cup, gold, and plate. On the ground, there is blue clay pot and blue glass pot. There are three sacks. Scuttle. Rice. Scuttle. There are three urns containing scuttle rice and scuttle. The cloth sack next to the urns contains salt rice. There is a sleeping area with two hammocks. Next to one hammock is a tankard, a bottle, and a jug. On the hammock, there is a pillow. I will now check underneath the pillow. And there is nothing to be found. I must check this other hammock's pillow now. And there is nothing to be found. Now, an eyesore at the back of the room is this large assortment of eggs sitting on flat baskets. This egg miner clearly takes her work very seriously because she stores many, many eggs in her home. <laughs> there are sacks and baskets at the rear of the room as well. If you can call this a room, it's more like a hole in the ground, but anyway, I digress. In the sack, we have nothing. In the sack, we have nothing. In the basket, we have a piece of paper, lowercase, and in the basket, we have a bowl. Well, that about wraps it up for this ass cave. Thank you, ass. You've been wounded. No, you have been wounded. Yeah. <laughs> ah, wait, I didn't mean it. Sorry, sorry, okay. Uh, yeah, and don't come back. Get out of here. Okay, anyway, we'll move on to the next cave. All right, here we have two more little cave dwellings. This should be our final two residences. This is the Almu cave dwelling. Okay, this one is a little smaller, I think, maybe. More warmly lit. I think it's a bit more cozy, even though it is made entirely of dirt and filth. But if you stop thinking about that, it's really just a cozy little home. Just focus on the belongings and the people, not on the walls made entirely of filth and dirt. Don't look at the dirt. There is a fireplace in here, but no fuel to be found. There's a redware bowl and two ceramic bowls by the fire. Not sure why. There are three crates. Oh my. The first crate has a steel flame cleaver. That could be dangerous if it got into the wrong hands. I'm going to advise that this be registered with the local law enforcement. There's also some various crap in the same crate. Nice lantern sitting on top. The next crate has just a bunch of garbage. Just a bunch of fucking garbage. And the final crate again has a bunch of garbage, except it also has an exclusive restore luck potion. That is extremely expensive and exclusivo. Not sure why a person with such expensive belongings would live in a cave, but perhaps the real estate market in this area is just a bit cool at the moment. Not a lot of homes for sale, perhaps. There's a strange little hole in the wall, and inside the hole are some sacks. In the sacks, we have rat meat, resin, and scales, black lichen, hackalow leaf, heather, and rat meat, and in that sack we have resin. Okay. What is the thought process here? You get a bunch of alchemical ingredients, you, you split them up into different sacks, and then you stick them in a little damp hole in your wall made of dirt and filth? I don't know. It just seems a bit strange to me. Moving on, there are s more sacks, of course. There's hound meat 
and scuttle, and then some urns that are all kind of Outland. wonky. What do you want? Excuse me, I'm trying to do something. There are uh, some wonky urns here. The wonky urn number one has scuttle. Wonky urn number two has scuttle. Wonky urn number three has scuttle and hound meat. Very luxurious wonky urn. Okay, ma'am, if you're so eager to talk, talk. Your name is Ash. Asharafi. Asharapli? Almu. Hello. Let me guess. You're an egg miner? Oh, just an egg miner. Well, I have nothing more for you. Why don't you keep quiet? Watch carefully as I conduct my inspection of your so-called home. If you can even see, you have some eyes there. Some You have an eye situation I see you're dealing with. Well, if you can see or if you can hear, listen and learn. Now, on this table, we have a yellow glass bowl with an egg in it. Red Wear pottery, ceramic bowls, and wooden cups. Interesting. I'm not sure why you'd want to drink out of an open pour wooden cup when you have ceramic. But I've never been a poor person. I don't know what it's like out here for a poor elf, an inferior person. Well, in this basket, we have a wicker bottle. Wicker, a wicker wrapped glass bottle in a basket. We have a jug and a bottle and a redware bowl on top of a chest containing a common ring, common shirt, and common shoes. We have a bed. I'm going to check this pillow. Grab him! Okay, nothing under the pillow. We have a very nice looking poop bucket, well maintained, and some mining implements on the ground, as well as an armorer's hammer. That is the first time I've encountered an armorer's hammer in a home thus far during my inspections. There is a very bright lantern directly above the bed. Um, most likely this should be extinguished before bedtime, for the bright light may serve to keep a sleeper from from sleeping. What is this about? This is about me inspecting your home. Did you not listen? Are you deaf too? Okay, well, I'm done here. See you in oblivion, bitch. Okay, our final home. Can we please be done? Oh, it's locked. Um, hello, sir. Just passing through. Okay, well, nothing to see here. A lot of little green guys running around in this town. All right, well, I'm just gonna pop this door open here. And there we are. Let's check it out. This home is uh, vacant at the moment. We have a crate containing an exclusive restore agility potion, as well as a bunch of crap and some gold. Just go ahead and help myself since no one's home. There's my fee paid. There are three sacks in a hole once again. Interesting. Nothing, nothing, and nothing. These are empty sacks. It's interesting. They look like they're full, but when you look inside, there's absolutely nothing inside. Interesting. The fireplace is burning away. Not sure what fuel this is. It looks like hot lava to me. Strange. There is a large redware bowl. Empty. And a stool. There is a table with four, count them, four yellow glasses. Only three stools. And one yellow glass bowl, as well as a large flat basket with five Kwama eggs inside. In the rear of the room, there is a trapped chest. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and pop that open because that looks very suspicious. Ah! Okay, what is inside? We have a lesser soul gem, an iron saber, large Kwama egg, a guide to Vardenfell, a bottle, a ceramic bowl, and 10 gold. I don't think that was worth enchanting with a trap. I don't think that was worth even locking up. That's garbage. Finally, we have on top of the chest a goblet, a jug, a bottle, a bottle, and a bottle. There is a dirty, dirty hammock at the rear of the room with a dirty, dirty pillow under which we find nothing hiding. That's fine. That's what I like to see. There's a miner's pick on the ground. Now, it is curious. These are miners who live in this town. However, they are egg miners, I believe. I'm not sure why they would need miners picks to mine for eggs because everyone knows mining for eggs is really more like gathering eggs as they are just laid by the giant bug things in the cave and you just pick them up. That's it. There's also a nice poop bucket here, fully cleaned, ready for its next load. There are some barrels containing crap and yet more crap. There are urns containing salt rice and scuttle. Go figure. A cloth sack contains large quama eggs and a cloth sack contains small quama eggs. 
There is a rather huge rug on the floor. I suppose that's good, because you don't necessarily want to be standing on dirt and filth, which reminds me, this place is created. This place is comprised. It It is a, it is a hole in the dirt and filth, and it is very dusty in here. Gross. Anyway, I'll be taking my leave from this deplorable deposit of a house here. Here we go. Oh, fresh air. That feels great. Nice little seating area in here. Some tables. I wonder who hangs out under this large shade. Nobody at the moment. Well, that completes the inspection of all the private residences, I believe. What is this? Oh! I missed one, excuse me, our 10th and final dwelling, so help us, divines. This is the Tansumiran cave dwelling. Let's just pop our heads in here real quick. Hello, sir. Wealth beyond measure, Outlander. Well, that's very kind, and to you as well, sir, although I don't think you have any wealth considering your small cave you live in. Your name is Elasaur Tansumiran, I see. And let me guess, you're an egg miner? Ah, just an egg miner. Well, sir, I'm gonna be inspecting your home. I'm I'm with the Imperials. Don't bother me. We have a glass lantern and a, ca a crate. There is a spear here made of iron. Be careful with this. Do not poke me, please. A fireplace with two stools and a bowl. It is not lit, however. No fuel to burn. There's a well-stocked table here with several bottles and green glasses, as well as ceramic bowls, one of which contains an egg. A quaint candle burns away at the center. There's a cushion seat on the floor amongst all the dirt. A glass lantern hangs from a pole, helping to support this cave dwelling. There is a locked chest. Sir, I'm gonna take a look in your locked chest. What Don't worry, I'm allowed to, so just keep to yourself and mind your own business as I mind mine. In the freaking chest, there's gold pants and a belt. Go figure. A common shirt sits atop as well as a piece of lonely gold. Its friend apparently toppled onto the floor and sits amongst the dirt. There is a jug also sitting in the dirt. Taking a quick peek under this pillow here, we find... God. Nothing hiding. Pipe down over there, please. There's a nice purple tapestry next to the hammock. Staring at the tapestry almost makes one forget that this home is made entirely of dirt. In the basket next to the bed, we have one cup. And in this basket, we have nothing. There are several dirty sacks sitting in the dirty dirt. This sack contains cork bulb, root, heather, large quama egg, scamp skin, scathe craw, this contains Hakalo leaf, quama cuddle, large quama egg, and stoneflower petals. And finally, we have 10 salt rice. There is a lovely leather privacy screen set up for no reason right here. Well done, sir. Well done. And that will complete the inspection of this stupid little so-called home made entirely of dirt. Good day, sir. Good luck as well. Oh, I believe that is all the private residences in the town. The only thing left is to check out the temple. We always need to keep an eye on how the priests are conducting themselves. There is no escaping the law. Even a religious occupation does not exempt one from inspections. So in we go. A small little room inside the temple. There's a chest with nothing in it. A door Warned by goblets and bottles. I suppose even the religious need to drink. A small table next to the bed contains redware bowls, a redware bowl, and two bottles, atop which sits a candle in a nice iron candle holder. Elegante. There's a nice red tapestry behind a large double bed. I wonder, do these priests sleep with each other? And if so, what hides under their pillow? Nothing and nothing. Perfect. They'll never know I was here. Another bed in a small cuck shed to the side sits back here. Under that pillow is, again, nothing. That's fine. Nothing hides behind the bed as well. There's a over-engineered candle holder in the corner and a nice 
nice tapestry on the wall depicting the symbol of the tribunal, fitting for a tribunal temple. There's a strange rug on the floor and a chest containing nothing. Moving right along, there is a sleeping area with bunk beds set up. How many people live here? This is crazy. Perhaps a, I can be of assistance. There's a locked chest next to this individual. I'll be just taking a look inside. Tons of potions. I suppose these are for sale. I won't touch them. It's none of my business, literally. Mr. Zan Mulk Samalamus. <laughs> How are you doing, sir? How you doing? Your background, I suppose you're a healer and layman of the temple. Very good. Well, I'll leave you to your business, but as you know, I'm with the Imperials. Just taking a quick look at your shop here, making sure there's nothing out of place. So far, it all looks good. Nice choice, by the way. Cyrodiilic brandy. Probably some of the best brandy in the world, if we're being honest. Beats the hell out of your dark elf swill that you try to pass off as anything more than poison. Uh, the shelf looks to be in order. Pretty standard complement of drinks and potions. Nice little screen in the corner. Adds a nice homey feeling. Two pieces of paper. Nothing on them on the table here. In the table's drawer, we have a clay pot, redware bowl, and redware pot. And I better check under these pillows. No offense, sir. God! Okay. Ah! Attacking me, I see. I better just check the rest of these pillows. And I think I'll try to hurry, hurry with my inspection. Oh my god! No, I'm not going to jail. I'm with the Imperials. You will pay. I don't. With your blood. No, I'm not gonna pay. I'm gonna just escape. In fact, can't touch me. Can't be touched. To be frank, uh, I don't respect the laws of the elves. I only respect imperial rule. And now that I'm out in the open air amongst the imperial guardsmen, you can see that I am no longer under arrest. So you see, no crime has actually been committed. To uh, sum up my inspection here, I will stand proudly atop this crate on top of this weird platform. Nisus is a troubled little town. There are six classy hut homes, which are home to some classy, relatively speaking, elves who live here. There are many green men running around in Imperial armor. I suppose they are with the Imperial Legion. That is fine. We like to employ a diverse cast of soldiers and enforcement officers in the Imperial ranks. Most troubling, however, are these dirty cave dwellings. Um, the people inside are living lives of extreme poverty, literally living in dirt. I find it very disturbing. This town as a result is going to receive a rating of 4 out of 10. The Imperial presence here, of course, is not a part of the rating. I am only rating the elves. The elves get a four. I project that over time, the imperial presence will increase. The level of civilization will increase in kind, and we will find ourselves with a nice little imperial settlement. 